First step is to spread out the plans on the plywood. Then you're going to cut out each individual piece. I prefer to use a razor knife. Once all the pieces are cut out, you're going to want to arrange them on the plywood, trying to make the most use of the plywood to minimize the scrap. Next, pull up one piece at a time, spray it with adhesive lightly, then you'll put it back in place and smooth it out free of wrinkles. I find that a plastic Bondo spreader works very well. Next you'll take the jigsaw and cut out each individual piece. I prefer to cut mine large and then I do my final cuts on the bandsaw. This is not a requirement, it's just my preference. Then I like to go to the table saw and I rip all my stringers up. Next you'll need to assemble all the brackets. Once they're assembled, you'll put them on the strong back, locate them carefully, and lock them in place. I drill a hole and then I drive a screw into the strong back. Once you have the brackets installed on the strong back, clamp the proper frame to the bracket. Then you'll start installing stringers and you hold these in place using bungee cords. Next you'll want to start lashing the stringers to the frames. This is done using artificial sinew. Any build requires a frog photo, or also known as frame on the grass. Next step is skinning the boat. On some boats, the fabric is stapled in place. On almost all the boats, some sewing is required, and it's not as difficult as most people think. Men seem to be scared of sewing, but it's really not that hard. Once you're finished skinning, you apply the waterproofing to the boat. In this case, I'm using porch and deck enamel. Once the painting is complete, the last step is to trim out your boat, and this will vary depending on the style of boat you build. Once this is done, it's ready for the water.